For as long as men and women have been having children, they've been trying to figure out how not to. Artifacts dating back to ancient times have shown that contraceptives have been used for thousands of years. Unsurprisingly, not every method was all that effective. In ancient China, concubines would drink a cocktail of lead and mercury. Unfortunately, the side effects included sterility, brain damage, kidney failure, and death. Ancient Egyptian women would mix honey, sodium carbonate, and crocodile dung into a thick paste they would insert into themselves before having sex. In Greece, in the year 200, a gynecologist named Seranus advised women to hold their breath during intercourse and sneeze afterward. <coughs> and in the Middle Ages in Europe, women believed tying weasel testicles to their thighs or around their necks during sex would prevent pregnancy. But it wasn't all a shot in the dark. Many modern forms of contraception have roots in the ancient past. For example, ancient cave drawings found in France appear to show an early version of a condom, and a prototype of the cervical cap has been used since Casanova's days. In his memoirs, written in the 18th century, he describes using partially squeezed lemon halves to do the trick. The modern history of not having babies begins in the mid-1800s, when vulcanized rubber was patented and condoms could be mass-produced. Yet for much of the 19th and early 20th centuries, women had a hard time getting their hands on effective contraception. Anti-obscenity laws in the U.S. restricted anyone, including doctors, from spreading information about it. But that didn't stop women from trying to prevent pregnancy. Many women would use household products, such as Lysol or Coca-Cola, which they believed would kill sperm. Advertisements for Lysol even endorsed the product as a way for women to protect their married happiness. All of that changed in 1960, when the FDA approved an oral contraceptive pill, thanks to the tireless efforts of activist Margaret Sanger and a team of doctors. Within five years, millions of American women had prescriptions for the pill. In the following decades, other forms of reliable contraception appeared, including IUDs. Safe and effective birth control still isn't a universal privilege. A 2013 report found that 222 million women from developing countries around the world said they wanted to use birth control but didn't have access to it. But in the U.S., a whopping 99% of women of childbearing age say that they've used some form of contraception. No crocodile dung required.